Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV. Welcome to our Cybersecurity Hero Series, and I'm talking with Dr. Phyllis Schneck, the Deputy Undersecretary of Cybersecurity and Communications at DHS. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me. So, can you share with our viewers how DHS has, has helped significantly improve cybersecurity across federal agencies? So this is a fun question, because I'm excited about it, as you can imagine. Right. Um, first and foremost, I'll mention that our secretary has what we call a unity of effort. Okay. So there are many parts of DHS that are different from where I am, the National Protection and Programs Director, and we obviously have the mission for right. response and mitigation of threat across civilian government and private sector. But we also have, for example, the Coast Guard and FEMA and the U.S. Secret Service and uh, TSA, as you well know, and others. And there's a cyber part of each of those. And I think what the Secretary and the leadership of the department have done okay. is brought a lot of those cyber folks together and said, as a department, what are we doing in cybersecurity? Okay. And then in our part, for our mission, which is uh, larger than enormous for my team <laughs> and for our customers, of course, is I'll, I'll divide that into two parts. The people part, the trust, working so closely with our privacy and civil liberties experts to make sure that in a time when it's very hard in our environment globally to say that we're collecting data, we have to, it's urgent. So working with the privacy experts and civil liberties people to make sure that we are collecting just the right data to widely distribute as our NCIC, National Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Center, we're certified to do so, to create an immune system out of the networked ecosystem in the world and put cyber threat indicators out. But that's based on trust. The distribution of intelligence into our networks is based on people being willing. Right. Companies are companies, people are what run those companies people or run our agencies and they're being willing to trust us with that data collection is enormous. And on the technology side, uh, building up the computing power and the networking with the technology community, working with others across the country and in innovation, making sure that we have built this Einstein platform to give us not only situational awareness and use of classified information, but also the ability to leverage the best of private sector and bring that technology together with the programs that protect the inside of agencies, continuous diagnostics and mitigation. The cyber parts, the people, the trust, right. the bits and bytes flying, the unity of effort across the department, that is our excitement in cybersecurity. So as agencies look to leverage this technology, how can agencies push the boundary when it comes to next generation data security practices? Because there's a yeah. lot of data flying around in these agencies. So how's the government putting innovative practices into place to protect the petabytes of data that they handle? I love this question because it's too big for any anything. I'll, I'll try to answer a small part of sure. it. Sure. Um, there is data flying around. I'm trying to picture that. But really what we've <laughs> done is we take this program, long name, Continuous Diagnostics and Mitigation, CDM, and we say, how do we get the best products from industry? Because I'm big on buy versus build. Okay. I don't think government's role is to build big programs and deliver them yesterday. Uh, I think it's more about building or delivering yesterday's technology tomorrow is what I've heard a lot from friends before I took this job. It's about taking the great programs such as Einstein that were built by those before me and leveraging them. And one way to do that is going to the private sector and taking their best products, making them viable, affordable for our federal agencies, which is what this program does, getting them into the agencies, which is a partnership between DHS and the actual agencies. Right. Every agency is responsible, by the way, for their own cybersecurity. We are trying to help and to raise the bar. Two key things about CDM. One is great stuff from the private sector, cutting edge stuff inside our agencies. Okay. Two is constantly monitoring the security. And there are different phases of CDM, but right now it's what, what do you have patched, what's not, what's there, what are we looking at, what's not there. And monitoring that on a dashboard that's just for them, just like the dashboard in your car, lights, oil, gas. And back in our operations center in the NKIC, we have the big federal dashboard. 